Welcome to the Metal Voice. Today on the show, Neil Turbin, Death Riders, David Reese, Sainted Sinners. They will be reviewing the latest album by Thunder. Rip it up. Oh, by the way, I'm not in the show. Hello, everyone. This is Neil Turbin, and you're watching the Metal Voice to review the brand spanking new release from the British hard rock legends, Thunder. This is one of the most anticipated hard rock albums of 2017, and it's no surprise that every one of Thunder's shows is sold out. And they're breaking new ground and heading over to Australia, New Zealand, and also the Monsters of Rock cruise in 2018. And Thunder are headlining and packing out arenas. Thunder is the dog's bollocks. It's obvious that Luke Morley and the Thunder Boys have put a lot of hard work and creative thought process into this new album. First song, No One Gets Out Alive. The album starts off with a Led Zeppelin-y, the song remains the same kind of a riff, kind of sort of, and it draws you right in and sounds like thunder the moment the vocals kick in. Uh, Rip It Up, the title track, straight ahead rocker with screaming guitars, pounding thumping drums. She likes the cocaine. Love the signature Wob melody. Chris Childs really glues it together on the bass guitar with his wonderful bass tone. Love it, love it, love it. Right from the start, a beautifully written and very well executed ballad by Luke Morley and Danny Bowes. I love the Shirley Bassey Goldfinger vocal melody, but delivered in a total thunder kind of way. Shakedown. I love the way the drum beat opens up the song with the guitar and the drums and more cowbell. Reminds me kind of, sort of, of T-Rex Bang A Gong. Hey now, this is a shakedown and the ad-lib vocal melody from Danny Bowes, one of the most incredible soulful voices on the planet, and one of the most underrated singers. Thunder fans will not be disappointed. Heartbreak Hurricane, very 70s opening. This is the dog's bollocks. Feckin' brilliant, I tell you. This could be my favorite on the whole album. Try getting this one out of your head after a few listens. Tumbling Down. This one starts off, starts off sounding like a morph of the Who, Pinball Wizard, kind of, sort of. And then goes into Fire to, Fire to Ice from Thunder's second album, Laughing on Judgment Day. And the last song on the album, There's Always a Loser. Am I hearing a little bit Led Zeppelin when the levee breaks and the drums? I love the drum sound on this album. Thunder does not disappoint. Thunder rip it up. Aces all the way. Songwriting, I give it a 10 out of 10. Performances, I give it a 10 out of 10. Production, a 10 out of 10. Album cover, all right, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. One of Thunder's best albums ever, and I bought all 20 of them, and all 600 EPs. This is a magnificent album. Go out right now and buy the new Thunder album, Rip It Up, on Ear Music. Thank you very much, Neil. Hello, everybody. This is David Reese of St. and Sinners with my review of the new Thunder album, Rip It Up. Well, first of all, I'm a huge fan of the group. Uh, love the singer, Danny Bowes. Um, first track, No One Gets Out Alive. Reached out and grabbed me. Uh, really like it. Really like it. Uh, steady, steady grooves. I like the guitar a lot. Uh, the rhythms, a uh, very rhythmic group. A lot of feel, a lot of punch. I hear influences, uh, obviously, of the 70s. Uh, little Bad Company and the like. Um, the title track, Rip It Up, like that one a lot too. It's a grower, yeah. yeah it's starting to grow on me. Um, she Likes the Cocaine, eh, it's, it's cool. I mean, uh, I can picture what he's talking about, you know. I know some people like that myself and uh, seen that lifestyle back in the day, so I kind of know what they're getting out on that one. Not bad. Uh, I think my favorite track on the album so far out of the 11 is uh, right from the start. It instantly grabbed me. Uh, great melody, great vocal line, uh, great music behind the voice. Um, I would rate the production uh, somewhere in you know the upper 80s if I was doing percentages. Uh, but the vocal sound, I think, is fantastic. Um, like I said, I'm a huge fan of his voice. I've known about the band for years and actually seen him a few times in Europe. So they uh, persevere. They keep on pushing, keep on rocking. That's what a real rock and roll band does. 
Heartbreak Hurricane is another great song that I like on the album. I mean, overall, I really, really like the album a lot. Um, so, in my personal opinion, one of the better singers that are out there, always has been. Uh, hear a little Paul Rogers, as I say in his voice, which, nothing wrong with that. And uh, I would rate the album very highly. I would recommend it as a must-buy. Um, being a fan, that's about the best I can say about it. This is David Reese, and you're watching The Metal Voice. See ya.